In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, good people of God, and welcome to this new week. We are in the 16th week of Ordinary Time Church Year C. You are listening to Catholic Meditation, always brought to you by the Communications Service of the Diocese of Kumba, Cameroon. Osla Ajebesone is the producer. Remitus Elad, the webpage director. Behind the microphone for presentation, I am Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Monday, the 22nd of July, 2019. The church celebrates the feast of St. Mary Magdalene. Thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son entrusted Mary Magdalene before all others with announcing the great joy of the resurrection, grant, we pray, that through her intercession and example we may proclaim the living Christ and come to see him reigning in your glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 5, verses 14 to 17. The Gospel is taken from St. John, chapter 20, verses 1 to 2 and verses 11 to 18. I read from the first reading. For the love of Christ overwhelms us when we consider that if one man died for all, then all have died. His purpose in dying for all humanity was that those who live should live not any more for themselves, but for him who died and was raised to life. For now onwards, then, we will not consider anyone by human standards, even if we were once familiar with Christ according to human standards. We do not know him in that way any longer. So for anyone who is in Christ, there is a new creation, the old order is gone, and a new being is there to see. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We live for Christ. We live for Christ. Dearly beloved, I have always in my private quiet moments, after marveling at the nature of the human being, often asked myself, what is life? Where does the human being come from? Where does the life we have come from? And when we die, where do we go to? These questions are very important, and I would like that we spend a few seconds and think about these questions. What is life? Where does human life come from? Where does a human being come from? And when we die, where do we go to? I suppose you too would have asked the same or similar questions. Beloved, we came from somewhere. 
Some years ago, we were not. Now here we are, living life, and soon, we would be out of here, as some we met, or who met us, have left. Where do we come from? This question is very important and fundamental. If we do not know where we come from and where we are heading to, we may just be living this life like some animals in the forests. This is a question that had troubled even the ancient philosophers, Leibniz, Martin Heidegger. Why are there things instead of nothing? These philosophers wondered. This question makes us realize that there is an origin of all things. There is someone who is responsible for all the things we see, who shaped the earth, sky and heavens, who created all things, our life included, and who controls all things. For this reason then, the life we have, though we are living it, it was given to us by that one who created all things, God. So in other words, the life is not our own. So God who gave the life to us says, we have no right to take away the life of others, not even our own, because we did not create it, because it does not belong to us. That is the fifth commandment, thou shalt not kill. If someone gives you money, even as a gift, the money is not yours. It was given you. So you must spend it wisely. You must render an account of how you spend the money. Even with money you personally work for, you must spend it judiciously, not carelessly. For this reason, in today's reading, St. Paul invites us to responsible living. Often we hear people say, it is my life. Let me live it as I choose. No, no, no. They make an error. It is God's life, not ours. And so we must live it responsibly. Did you create yourself? Did you give yourself life? Did you bring yourself into this world? Do you always remember, beloved, that someday there will be death and we will return to our maker and render an account of the life he gave us, how well we spent it. So in reality, we are called to live responsible lives. St. Paul in today's first reading puts it nicely when he says, We live not for ourselves, but for him who died for us. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 15 What is more, St. Paul adds, he died that we might live, so he gave us life. We would have been long lost, but he bought us over. So the life we live is for him. God himself says in Isaiah chapter 43 verse 1, But now, this is what the Lord says, He who created you, he who formed you, do not fear, he says, for I have redeemed you, I have summoned you, you are mine. If we live, we live for Christ. If we die, we die for Christ. So whether alive or dead, we belong to him. Romans chapter 14 verse 8. So beloved, whatever you do with the life that God has given you, be responsible. Use the life he has given you to know him, to serve him, to worship him, to honor him, keep his words and commandments. Use the life he has given you to do good. Serve humanity. Let people be blessed by such a human being as you. We are multiplications of God on earth. We are created in his image. He lives in us. So imagine the number of gods there are in the world that we are. We are his. We live for him because we shall render an account to him. Before you ever do something, ask yourself, is this how God should behave? Does this act please God? Is he happy with me? Dear friends, 
we should always ask ourselves, what are we doing with the life that God has given us? Are you wasting the life God gave you? If God who gave the life was to make a demand for it today, would you render a favorable account? Some of us say, I am enjoying my life, limiting ourselves to all the pleasure we can get. There is no true enjoyment of life without Christ, beloved. Enjoyment of life without Christ is slavery, I can assure you. Life in Christ is everything. For all this will pass away. We came and met and we will live as we came. One thing remains forever, Christ. St. Mary Magdalene, whose feast we celebrate today, made that choice. For her, to live was Christ, and she spent her whole life living for Christ, rendering service to Him. Doing service, assisting Him, and following Him right to the cross. Every other thing meant nothing as long as she had Christ. At the end, she was blessed to be the first to see Jesus after his resurrection, and now she shares life with him in heaven. God's good people, every day when you wake, ask yourself, where am I coming from? Today, God has made it possible for me to see this day. He has given me life. What use will I make of this life? Where am I going to? Were I to die now, what will become of me? All of life is not about chasing work, money, and the pleasures it can offer. We must live for Christ because the life we have is His. So whether rich or poor, all that doesn't matter because it is life in Christ that is important. Please do not waste your life. Put meaning to your life and you can only do so if you have Christ. It is not about how much we get. Because even when we have all the money we can and all the wealth we can, we still discover that without Christ we are empty. So we live for Christ because the life he gave us came from him. Go about therefore positively impacting our world because someday we all will pass away. But what good reputation would you have left to keep your name remembered? The answer is up to you. God who gave the life someday will take it back someday. What account are you ready to render of how you spent the life? May St. Mary Magdalene help us in this regard. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen. <laughs>